song is gone, I'm latching on Don't even know your name, but you're still in my head Underneath rays of gold, your body oh so close No, I can't forget, no When I saw you on the dance floor, I was a you who saw me first I guess it's history now and I shouldn't care but it still hurts Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. My name is Katie. I live in Orlando and I make all like home decor videos. Pretty much anything to do with like Target, home goods, home decor, sometimes cleaning motivation, grocery shop with me. So if you like any of those videos, definitely make sure you give this one a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Today I have my bodyguard again. Brian has not been on the channel. You wanna say thank you for all the birthday wishes? Thank you for all the birthday wishes. And then I wanted to say as well, it's Brian with an I. Not Brian with a Y. Some people like wrote both or like we're asking for clarification. So Story of my life. Brian with an I. Um, but today's video is super exciting. It's like a multi-store shop with me. Lots of different stores, home decor stores, because we just moved into our new apartment. <laughs> so we're super excited. We have some stuff that we still need to get. We need stuff for the guest bathroom. We're looking for outdoor furniture. We need dresser nightstands. So today's gonna be a big shopping day. We're thinking Home Goods, Ikea. There's a Marshalls in front of us. So I don't know. We're just gonna go to a bunch of different stores. And you're blinding me. Oh. <laughs> Did you see it go in my eye? Just planning on going into a bunch of stores, picking up a bunch of stuff, and we'll definitely do a huge haul at the end. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But I'm planning on filming a lot in all these different stores, so I won't blab on. Let's head into the first store, which is Home Goods, and let's get shopping. You excited? Shopping. Shopping. Someone tell me where this coffee table was for the last year. This is exactly pretty much what I was looking for. Round, I love the gold mixed with like the natural elements of the like wicker at the bottom. It's $200, I'm obsessed with this. Do you like that? I love it. You do? Yeah, yeah. I know, yes, oh my gosh, you guys, these are the chairs I showed you. These are the ones. Oh, they have so much good stuff today, what the heck? I love this, someone come buy this. This is at the Millennia Home Goods. This lamp is really cool. I really like the table. And then it's like a concrete at the bottom. It is on clearance for still 270, so super pricey, but it's really nice lamp. We're actually in the market for a lamp like this, one that like jarts out, but we need one that's bigger. Um, now that we set up our living room furniture, we can see that there's like a gap in the lighting and something like this would look really cool. So we're on the hunt for like a big, arch extending lamp like this. Just checking out some like bathroom stuff. We need some soap dispensers for our bathroom and the guest bathroom. So we like those. This one's actually pretty nice. These are really nice too. And they match this trash barrel actually. But we're thinking we want to get a trash barrel with a lid um, just cause the dogs like go in the trash if you don't have a lid on it. And then Brian just picked out some nice little Tommy Bahama guest towels. So we're getting there. Look at you, you little shopper. We found these cool like dual toilet brush plunger caddy and it comes with an extra brush head. It's super nice, like stainless steel. I would have wanted two white ones, but one of each is fine too. These are cool and they're only $30 and I just feel like they're really nice. I finally found it. You guys, if you've watched like all my home goods videos, a white pineapple with a gold top. And I really love this one, like how it's like open. Like this is like the solid one. This is so perfect. I would find it when I'm with you. I've literally been looking for this for weeks, actually months, honestly. And it's like open on the bottom. So I guess you could put like a candle inside or something. This is so perfect. Where there are ups, there are downs, you guys. Both of them are broken. What are the odds? Found this Magnolia Home little end table, $50. It has like, it's like open on the inside, but Chip and Joanna Gaines. These are so pretty, these three bowls. These would be perfect for like a coffee table. You could do like a candle, your remote, or a fake plant, just something a little bit decorative, but the gold with the white on the inside just really adds something to the center of your living room. I really like this, three different sizes, so perfect for any size coffee table. And I just love the hammered gold on the outside too. Love them. I love these ones too. They're like metal, but they're gold. They're a little bit more matte, but these would be perfect too. Not as flat on the inside, so a little bit harder to decorate, but you could definitely find like a plant and a remote or whatever you want to do. It just wouldn't be like as neat. Found this adorable little like three pineapple, but it's also broken. What is going on today? 
This is so cute though for $6.99 and it's like a little bit iridescent almost, but it's just not my day for pineapples, I guess. Only this pineapple. Okay, I know I said that we were gonna get a trash can with a lid, but then we found these really cool ones over here at the checkout. They're like the Made in India line. $9.99, they have a plain one. Then they also have the speckled one, so I'm like, well, that's a good way to tie in the black with this black one. We got the goods. It's just so easy to spend so much money in there. That I could have a quick 155. Quick 150. It's just so easy to spend so much money in there, but they had a lot of really good stuff. And it's just like all this little stuff that like we needed. So I'm glad that we're finally ticking it off the list. And there was an outdoor chair there that I think I've showed in a video before that we really like. So we're gonna go to the other stores and then if the, at the end of the night we still really want it, we'll probably come back and get it. I don't think anyone's gonna buy it between now and then because I've been seeing it for the last few weeks. I'll definitely keep updated on that. Now we are headed, I think, to the mall. So I've never vlogged in the mall. I've always thought about doing like a mall shop with me. But we um, are headed over to Williams Sonoma. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the Revolution Toaster. I think that's what it's called. But it's like a smart toaster that has like a touch screen. And we really want a new toaster. And we saw that one like around Christmas time. And we haven't stopped thinking about it. So we're gonna check it out in Williams Sonoma. And if it speaks to us, it's gonna come home with us. <laughs> so this is the toaster. My only gripe with it is that it's a single slice. But like it's touch screen and they have like pastry, bread bagel waffle that's so crazy and then fresh frozen or reheat and then like the level okay yeah <laughs> i think that we need it it's so cool i feel like our toaster was so old and gross and ratty and we were like this well is so this is so cool so i think we're gonna go for it what is that Showtime and date when idle a large bagel volume it does speak to you that's so crazy I think we need it. What do you think? We're going for it. Also enticing these Casamigos like cocktail mixers. They have Paloma, Margarita, some like Basil Smash. Casamigos is a really good tequila. I don't like tequila, but he does. And these look yummy. We got the goods. I'm so excited to use it. We don't even have bread. We literally don't even have bread right now. We need to go grocery shopping. Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped. I hope it works well. We do have English muffins. We'll have to keep you guys updated if it works well. Um, it is pretty pricey. It's like $300, um, but we'll keep you updated. Okay, so the area that we're in is an area that I shop at a lot because there's a lot of stores around here. So now we are headed to Ikea, which is, you know, the Mecca. We're still looking for some outdoor furniture, a lot of stuff, dresser. We still need nightstands, but I don't think we're gonna find that at Ikea. Um, so we'll keep you updated on what we find. This just feels like a very vloggy video, which I'm so not used to doing anymore, but it's a nice change. Let me know if you guys like it in the comments below. When you see the yellow wall, you just know. If you guys have been to Ikea, I'm sure you know. They have like all the rooms set up, but I wanna get this big vase for underneath these like built-in cubbies that we have. So I'm gonna be on the lookout for that. Okay, so we kinda decided for our room, we don't need drawers, but we do want something and we really, really like this. This is called the La Marp. It's $2.59, which is a great price. It's not white, it's more of a beige, which I actually think would look really good because our bed is linen. And then I absolutely love this hardware. They're like these little gold droplets and then little just like gold knobs, but they have tons of different hardware to choose from here for a really good price. And it does have little like drawers on each side. You can adjust the shelves if you need them to be taller, like they do here, but I really like this. I think this might be a contender. This is another one we were considering. We would definitely want to change the hardware. The thing I don't like about it is like, because it has this like ledge, it kind of looks like a baby changing station for sure, in my opinion. So that's why we don't really want to do this one. This one is called the Huga or Huga for 189. This is another one we like. This is the Hemnest sideboard. So it's a really popular dresser that they have, but instead of like all drawers, it has like two little like side cabinets and three drawers. Not in this color though, definitely in like white or whatever. 
So this is another one that we really like. They have this little office set up like as if like a beauty content creator was here. All the makeup drawers, it says like cheeks, highlights, face primers, cleansers, like all this stuff with little like inspiration pictures. Definitely makes me feel like they're trying to set it up as if like a YouTuber, beauty YouTuber was gonna use it. Okay, so they have this little night sandwich. I feel like I showed in my last Ikea video. I kind of like how simple it is and it has a little drawer but this is kind of like concerning but you could put a basket on here and that would be pretty good I wish that they had like the baskets around here so you could see what would fit in but it's a great price only $70 and we really like the leather pull but you can put whatever pulls you want because they sell it all separate this little tray is adorable it's called the Varfint I feel like this is new for 2021 I really like it. Let's add this to the list of things they didn't sell when I was shopping. Really, really like this new coffee table that they have. It is the Lister B, only $129. And the bottom is really cool. You could put like books or something down there or just leave it totally plain. Reminds me so much of the Studio McGee one that I bought. I'll put here. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put it here so you guys can see. Really similar, like almost the exact same size. The bottoms are definitely different. Um, but this one is an awesome price. I love this. Definitely would have bought this if they had this at the time I was looking. Also, a fun little, like, blanket ladder. I really like the color, the super, like, light wood. It's the Vilto. It says it's a towel stand. But you can definitely use it as a blanket ladder like they are here. Okay, we like this dresser. We probably would change the hardware for our guest room. Only $179. Also, we like this one. This one is $129. We feel like this one looks like a little bit higher quality, but both an awesome deal. And you can literally customize it however you want with different hardware to make it like whatever style that you like, but really good options. Okay, so both of these say temporarily unavailable. They both do like right underneath the price tag. I will say it's still worth it to check the website. They do both say out of stock anyways here because really like you don't know how often they change these things and it could have come back into stock today. We might still check in the aisle just in case, but sadly both of these options are out of stock. The like tried and true dresser that like a lot of people have is the Hemnez. All of these are out of stock, which stinks because we really need it. So we'll probably still check the aisle. It doesn't say this one is out of stock like here on the tag, but when you look it up on the website, it is. Why is everything out of stock? They have this jar that has a little cork lid, the coffee beans. We do pour over and we grind the beans fresh every time. So Brian said that this was a great idea and I agree, it looks really cute. So we got us one. New pretty little like emerald green pitcher. They have a lot of stuff in this jewel tones that is new, like a lot of this like tealish type stuff, super pretty. So I just wanted to show it to you for $12.99. have this little like rolling cart set up. Really cool little soap dispenser. The edges are super pointy, which I think I said in my last video as well. $7.99. I like the top. I do wish that it was gold, but I still really like it. And honestly, our apartment has a lot of like gray fixtures, so that will go really nice. This is cool. This battery operated mirror. Love it. It is like dual sided and this one's three times magnified for $29.99. It just has like the light built in and it runs off of batteries and it has this little button. That's awesome. Good deal on shoe rack. They're cool. Just two little rows. We're gonna get two. Brian already has one, um, like a different shoe rack. So I'm gonna get one for me and then we're gonna get one for our front hall closet for the shoes we wear a lot. That way we're not like tracking our shoes into the house. I'm deceased. These are towel hooks. Towel of some sort, right? Like are you kidding me? These are so cute and they come in these little packs. Or if you're looking for chairs for your dollhouse, this is a great place to come and get some for $5.99. These are adorable. I really like this one. It's like this cool little like oval shape. I really like the shade. Like it's the exact same shape as the lamp and it's super skinny and you don't see that very often in lamps. They're normally like so round. This one is really, really cool. It is the Upvind and it is $89. These are so pretty. I will always rave about these when I come here because if you found these on like Wayfair or Serena and Lily or anything like that, they'd be a billion times more expensive. Literally $59, $70. And then this one is $40. I love this one. I feel like this one's like famous practically. 
I think this one is new. I haven't seen this one before. The dome on the inside is also rattan, and then the light is like up in there. I don't want to blind you guys, but this is such a pretty set of pendant lights. In the as is section, and they have these really cool rocking chairs. I really like the design. They are 153. They were originally 219. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. I just think someone returned them because they decided that they didn't like them, but I really, really like them. I think they're actually really pretty. They have this really nice leather detail, with like a little pillow. I actually really, really like these, but I don't know if they would hold up well outside. More goods have been acquired, including this really cute rainbow bag that they had. <laughs> Because they don't give you a bag. It's super cute and the Ikea bags are super durable and they're massive, so we got this bag too. Okay, I think last stop of the night because Brian might literally fall over is City Furniture. We're headed into City Furniture, which is like a Florida-based like furniture store, like a really big one, but I think it's like only in Florida, but it's super nice. This chair is absolutely stunning. The pillows are all messed up, but the chair is super nice. Brian said it's probably like $1,200. He's not wrong. You see a price anywhere? When you don't see a price, that's when you know. It's so cute though. Is it comfy? No, I'm not gonna come get you later. Let's go. I actually really like these nightstands. They kind of remind me of something you'd see at Restoration Hardware, but I really like them. I like the shape of them a lot. These like big dome beds, this one and especially that one, looks like it got pulled right off a Carnival cruise ship like in the adult only section. If you know, if you've been on a carnival cruise, you definitely know what I'm talking about, but just screams cruise. Oh, I like this lamp. Oh my God, I didn't even notice the bar card it was on until Brian just said it. This is so nice. It has the black accents with the cane. Perfectly would match our entertainment center. Literally perfectly. This is beautiful. We are for real striking out everywhere. We wanted to go in there to check like the outlet section, but they really didn't have anything. And Ikea was out of stock of everything we wanted, so. We're kind of like SOL right now. <sighs> it stinks because everyone's like, oh, because of COVID, like manufacturing. So it's like, I don't know, like at Ikea, they were like literally out of, we were willing to do like five different dressers and they were out of all of them. Uh, <laughs> we're like literally so out of our minds right now. I don't know if we have anything else left in us. Plus it's like, 809 we do have one like a home goods really close to us that i was like oh if you just stay in the car and i can just run in and see if they have anything that we would be interested in um They're still open for sure yeah brian kind of wants ice cream i'm thinking i don't know this is it the last store of the night guys if you act fast you can come to home goods and spend 80 dollars on a wall of sticks Okay, I know I've also showed you guys this before, but I can't believe they still have it. We're considering getting this and then also getting like that two-person chair thing because they kind of go together. We're wanting a tall table, a two-person chair thing, or two chairs and a table like that as well as like a couch. So we'd have to find like a gray colored couch to like tie it all together. But it's not Mission Impossible, but still the issue is this should have light colored cushions. I just think it would look 100 times better with light colored cushions. They don't have any of like any white or ivory seat cushions um, in the outdoor section right now, so we'd have to keep looking. But I'm not sure. I think we like it, but I don't know if we want to pull the trigger. Just found this really awesome like outdoor sectional, super nice. I love the black with like the wood. And I think the table might be included as well. So you get like the L-shaped sectional on the table. It's a thousand dollars, so it's a bit pricey, but it's super nice. And outdoor furniture literally is all weather and like lasts forever. This is super, super pretty. And it is um, DKNY brand. We love this. Okay, I am home now. I just want to quickly show you everything that we picked up today. Um, there's like nothing decorated. This place is an absolute disaster just from like moving and everything. We're still putting everything away, but I just want to show you everything we got on today's haul. I'm going to start with, I'll, I'll start with the first store we went to. I'll just go in order. So we're going to start with home goods. So I'm just going to kind of grab like whatever is right on top. So we did get, like I showed you the two like double cleaner and plunger set. Not very exciting. We did get a white one and a black one. Probably would have got two white ones if they had had it. Um, but if they were $30 a piece, they include an extra brush head. And yeah, I don't know, they just seemed really nice. So we decided to pick them up because 
It's just something you have to have in the bathroom. Okay, the next thing is this big bag of towels. We just got these like white waffle textured towels from Tommy Bahama. The big towels were $7.99 a piece. We just got four for now. Um, and then we got a set of like washcloths for $5.99. I think it was four for $5.99. Okay, the next thing we picked up was this vase. Um, I have seen this like a couple times and I've wanted it. And now that we moved in, we have these um, shelves. They're like built in cubbies and they're really tall. So when we saw this again today, I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and get it because it would look really good, like styled on those shelves. I can't wait to show you them when they're finally styled, hopefully soon. Um, just have to get some more stuff to like finish them because like I said, they're just super tall and I just didn't have a lot of really tall stuff, but I did get this. It's really cool. It has like a lined texture on it. Um, and it was $16.99. Okay, the next thing we got are these bath mats. They are really, really soft. So our, also, sorry if I keep like looking in the viewfinder, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm still in focus. But they're really soft and it just has like a little like stripe, but it's the same texture. It's not like it's like, you know, like braided down, if that makes sense, but they're really soft. The two rugs were $19.99. I did buy some from Ikea and they're so soft and fluffy, but they like block the door. So they always get caught under the door and it's like really annoying. So we got these ones. They're still super fluffy, but they're a lot thinner. So hopefully they don't get caught under the door. Okay, and then the last thing we got from Home Goods was that trash barrel that I showed you. It is just like an ivory color with these like little black speckles. It's really cute. I really like it. And I'm hoping that it will look good in the bathroom. If not, going back okay so that was everything that we got at home goods we didn't end up going to two home goods we didn't get anything at the second one um and then brian got a pair of sunglasses because i got him a gift card sunglass up for his birthday and then we got da -da -da -da, the revolution toaster as you guys saw um in william sonoma a lot of you are going to be like that's so ridiculous like why is that even a thing and why do you need it and why did you spend so much money on it well Okay, the toaster is definitely my most used kitchen appliance ever. I eat toast every single day. And I had the same toaster for a really long time. And it's just like, I don't know. It's just really old and gross. And you can, oh, I just dumped crumbs all over the ground. So as you can see, it was time for an upgrade. And I don't know. I saw someone got this on Instagram. And I just thought it looked really cool. So I wanted it. So I'm hoping that it works really well. Like I said, I wish that it was like extra long so that you could do like two slices at once or like, or like two english muffins or two bagels or whatever but it's not the end of the world and the girl at williams sonoma said that they're coming out with a revolution blender so like a touch screen blender so that would be really cool too although i will say i'm pretty partial to vitamix but anyways yes yeah, so we got this toaster it definitely was a big spend um, i can link it down below if you guys are interested but don't give me crap in the comments about it because I already bought it. Okay, and then the last store that we bought stuff from was Ikea. So let me show you everything we got from there. So you'll definitely notice a pattern of the things that I picked up. The first thing I picked up were the like Frykin like stackable baskets. So you get the three different sizes. They're all inside here and they just kind of stack on top of each other. Again, trying to get stuff that has like varying heights to fill up that little cubby space that I have over there. And I just thought these were really cute. You could put them pretty much anywhere and you can make them like usable you could put like keys in them or whatever you want to do so i wanted to pick these up i think they were like 15 dollars. nothing at ikea has the price like on the item so i can't remember exactly but i think they were 15 dollars. and then the next thing i got was this like giant Vuitton basket this is the i'll show you the name in case you're interested so that's the name of it if you are interested in getting it again it doesn't have the price on it but i'm pretty sure this was 20 dollars that's pretty much what I'm remembering. Um, it's very yellow and well, I think this is like super cool toned. Um, so that's like why I think that, but I don't know. I really like it. I'm hoping to put like some um, pompous grass in it or something. Um, but the bottom part of the cubbies is like super open. Um, so I need something tall to fill it. So I thought like a big base like this with maybe some like pompous grass coming out would look really good. Okay, and then the next thing I picked up were two of those soap dispensers, the wooden ones. I like that it's like plastic on the inside and then you're able to just like refill it and it's like totally mess free and doesn't mess with the wood. And yeah, I just wanted to get these. They are very pointy, which I always say when I talk about them. Um, but I like them and I've looked at home goods a lot over the last few weeks and haven't really found anything that I like love any better. So 
decided to just pick up these and if I want to replace them they were super cheap I think they were like seven dollars next up we grabbed one of those glass jars I showed you we're gonna put coffee beans in it and it has a little like cork on the top so it looked really really cute the way that they had it in the store so we wanted to do the exact same thing so we picked up one of those and I think that was only like five dollars which is super cheap then we got this little like hanging kit they have these for $5.99 um, this is the Fixa one, and we wanted to hang lights out on the balcony, so you need like the hook type ones, so we decided to just pick it up that way. Once we get the lights, probably in the next like day or so, we'll already have the hooks, so we won't have to worry about like running out to Walmart when we don't have the right stuff. We just decided to grab it, so we have it to make our lives a little bit easier. As I'm flailing around a squeegee. Our guest bathroom shower is glass, so um, I did get like a glass cleaner, and then we're gonna like leave this in the bathroom, that way it's super easy to clean. And then Brian uh, wanted these. He thought they were super cute. And they are really, really cute. They are these little like hooks and they're shaped like chairs. Um, not exactly sure what we're gonna do with them yet. We're thinking about putting them on the inside of one of the cabinets to hang like dish towels. Um, this is really not a great place to like put a dish towel. So we thought that, that would be fun. And then the last thing I grabbed was this basket. <laughs> That's just like one of those like saggy little baskets. They're just like really nice and decorative. I just really like the look of them. So I wanted to go ahead and pick one up because they had it for really, really cheap. I think it was like only $10. Well, that is everything that I got on this shopping trip. Gonna throw it back to previous earlier in the day, Katie, when I did the sign off while it was still light outside. And she will say goodbye and all of our final sentiments. All right, let's go. All right, you guys, well, that is gonna be it from us today. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing everything that we got and everything that we picked up and looked at. It was a lot of different stores, so thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end. Definitely make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't yet. Hit the subscribe button down below, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys!